Hello everyone, back to you into today's first video, doing a weekend forecast for today's first video. So, as always on a Saturday, we're having a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead. And it's going to be a very, very uh, unsettled start to this weekend forecast. All eyes going to be on Storm Dennis. We have weather warnings uh, galore at the UK Met Office for wind and rain for the next uh, 24 to uh, 36 hours or so. So we're going to have a real battering of strong winds. And also uh, with this one, as opposed to Kara or Kira, um, we're also going to have some very heavy rain uh, as well. And there will be problems with flooding, I think, as a result of Storm Dennis. So the early part of the weekend book is actually the most important part. And then the rest of it, uh, just was generally quite unsettled, will be turning a bit drier down in the south, I think, through the week. Always most settled up in the north. I'll talk you through what's happening uh, with the uh, weather weekend in a moment. Just say that the websites you're using for weekend forecasts are coming from theweatherout.com and weathercentral.de. You can find links to both those websites on the links page. The radar picture uh, comes from Gals Weather Vids. Uh, right, so uh, and the second video coming up this afternoon will extend out beyond the weekend forecast time frame. Right, so we're going to start with the radar picture, and uh, this is it. So loads of rain across the country at the moment. It's rather sporadic across eastern areas, you'll notice. Much of East Anglia, South East England, mainly dry. Looking rather patchy in nature for northeastern parts of England and some parts of northeastern Scotland too. Always heaviest and most persistent on the western side at the moment, on the western side of high ground. I think that's where the rain totals will really be clocking up through the course of this afternoon. To do. Southern and southwestern parts of Scotland, you see torrential rain there. Some parts of northwestern England, torrential rain there. To the west and southwest of Wales, very heavy and persistent rain there. And also down to southwestern parts of England, southern parts of England as well. Also, much of Ireland is uh, looking very wet. So, there will be rain across the whole coast this afternoon, but always heaviest and greatest risk of flooding on the western side of high ground. So this is being driven in as well by very strong uh, winds also. This is how the Arctic pressure map is looking for today. Low pressure to the south of ice, a very deep area of low pressure. This storm, Dennis, of course, and these tight back isobars indicating the strong winds are going to strengthen further through the afternoon and into this evening. So a nasty afternoon coming up, wet and windy across the whole country, outbreaks of heavy and persistent rain uh, for many of us, a safe risk of flooding on the western side of high ground, all being driven in by these strong to gale force or severe gale force west to south westerly winds. Winds will be falling a little bit lighter across Scotland later this afternoon, uh, but for England and Wales in particular, very windy afternoon with gusts going up to around 40, 50, 60 miles an hour well inland, around coastal areas, 60, 70 mile an hour gusts, certainly possible maybe 80 miles an hour around some parts of uh, coastal uh, Wales and southwestern England uh, as well. So a really wet and windy afternoon and despite all that though it is going to be mild so uh, despite storm days at least it will be mild with temperatures ranging from 8 to 13 degrees Celsius. 13 Celsius is 55 Fahrenheit. This is the uh, facts chart from the UK Met Office uh, for midnight uh, tonight, or 6 o'clock in the morning, I should say, tomorrow morning. Um, you can see that got a 926 millibar area of low pressure just to the south of uh, Iceland. So that storm down is very, very deep and intense area of low pressure. We've got these cold fronts as well, but uh, swinging across the country and bringing more heavy outbreaks of rain. Tight packed ice bars well, indicating very windy night coming up. That's how the GFS looks for 6 o'clock um, tomorrow morning. So what we're going to find happening this evening is that the rain will tend, to e will tend to ease down, actually. It'll clear across Scotland and Northern Ireland overnight. It'll turn clearer up there with uh, with clear spells and also blustery showers. Uh, down across England and Wales, we'll get a clearance of the rain through the first half of the night. And then as these cold fronts swing in, we'll find a pulse, another pulse of very heavy rain developing in the second half of the night, that turn England and Wales thoroughly wet. There'll be outbreaks of torrential rain uh, across much of England and Wales by the end of the night, giving a further risk of flooding in places. It's going to be a very mild night down in the south. Temperatures holding up at around 10 to 13 degrees Celsius, so temperature not really dropping from where they're going to be um, 
uh, this afternoon. In the north, it will be turning cooler, though, through the night, with temperatures dropping down to around 4 or 5 degrees across the northern parts of Scotland. Those cold fronts are going to take a while to clear uh, across the country tomorrow morning. Eventually, they will move away, but it'll probably be... Very late on in the afternoon before we get a clearance across East Anglia and South East England from this final uh, cold front. And then we're into a showery push of the winds, uh, which could become very strong again across some parts of uh, Scotland to Northern England on uh, Sunday evening. Here is the toxic pressure chart um, for uh, tomorrow from the GFS. Again, we've got the strong to gale force, severe gale force winds uh, pushing in across the country. So, uh, we start off very wet across England and Wales. Torrential rain in places, a risk of flooding. That rain gradually eases southwards and eastwards. Probably not clearing the Midlands until the middle of the day. And probably not clearing East Anglia and South East England until after dark on uh, Sunday evening. It'll turn brighter from the north and west, but also bringing in blustery showers. And up across Scotland, we're going to see uh, the shower turning increasingly winter. As the air starts to come back out of Greenland, we we'll see the shower turning increasingly increasingly wintry across northwest parts of probably blizzards in the highlands again by the end of Sunday afternoon and also wind strengthening uh, could go back up to 60 70 80 miles an hour perhaps through some parts of the central lowlands um, through the course of Sunday uh, evening a generally a very windy day across all parts of the country with gale force gusts likely for many of us. Temperatures in the southeast still very mild at around 10, 11, 12 degrees, but generally turning cooler from the northwest you go. So in the northwest, temperatures probably only around 4 or 5 and feeling a lot colder than that in those gale or severe gale force winds. Memory to uh, Monday, we get rid of Storm Dennis and its impacts finally. We're just into a cold and showery run of northwesterly winds for Monday. So it's basically a case of sunshine and showers. Many of the showers in the north and the west, few if any in the south and southeast. Uh, they could merge into longer spells of rain in the north and it will turn increasingly wintry with snow coming down to low levels across northern and western parts of Scotland through the day. Also, wintry showers for Northern Ireland and northwestern England will be a windy day. Not as windy as it has been, but even so, still windy with risk of gale force gusts, particularly in the northwest. Temperatures on uh, Monday will be colder as well. So in the south, we're only looking around uh, 8 degrees, which is about average for the middle of February, to be honest, of the far southeast. In the north, only around 3 or 4 degrees. Again, feeling colder in those winds. Tuesday, again, another showery day with winds in from the northwest. So it's a case of sunshine and showers. Many of the showers wintry in northern and west parts of the country. Few, if any, showers coming into the southeast, but one or two blustery ones could blow through on those uh, brisk northwesterly winds. We may see a longer spell of rain, sleet and snow pushing west to east across parts of Scotland as well, perhaps, through the course of uh, Tuesday. Temperatures again ranging around 3 to 8 degrees, feeling colder in those strong winds. A slight little transient bump of high pressure for Wednesday will give us a drier, quieter day, although the next low pressure will be heading in towards the country by the end of Wednesday afternoon. So Wednesday starts off mainly dry. There could be a frost, actually, through uh, parts of the country. But otherwise, we're looking at a good deal of dry weather on Wednesday with sunny spells. Uh, just a few showers peppering the coast. And then late on, it begins to turn cloudy, wet and windy again across the far northwest of Scotland and possibly Northern Ireland. Temperatures in the February sunshine could reach around 9 or 10 degrees after cold start. Um, a bit of a recovery in temperature will be taking place. And then we get through to Thursday and this next uh, weather system will be coming in from off the Atlantic. So we start Thursday with cloud out and outbreaks of rain, also quite strong winds across Scotland and Northern Ireland. That band of rain will move southwards and eastwards across the country, probably turning patchier and more showery as it does so with brighter skies and blustery showers following in to the west. Temperatures ranging from around 6 to 11 degrees. And then we finish up on Friday, finish up the work week, I should say, on Friday, looking uh, rather wet and windy again. So the ice bars are tightening. It'll be another windy day. Could be gale force winds up in the northern part of the country. Uh, area of heavy rain also affected parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, and Northern England. The rest of England, Wales, probably mainly dry, but a lot of cloud. Temperatures should be back into double digits, I would have thought, in most areas, somewhere around 9, 10 or 11 degrees. And then into next weekend, well, Saturday continues to look uh, quite 
quite unsettled in the north. Close to this ridge of high pressure across France, southern areas mainly dry. Would have thought a lot of cloud being dragged in on these mild or very mild west to south west winds. And uh, so it goes on into Sunday too. Could be a cold front bringing heavy rain into Scotland through the weekend. But I think a good deal of dry weather for England and Wales. Maybe even, dare I say, a taste of spring next weekend down in the south with temperatures well into double digits. I just have a chance weather outlook, so loads of rain across the country today, really wet and windy, as we've already established, with risk of flooding rains in places. That Sunday, Sunday morning, very, very wet for England, Wales, torrential rain, only gradually easing southwards and eastwards, followed by um, blustery showers, and they may start to turn wintry up in the north as well. Monday really is a case of sunshine and showers. Many of them will be wintry in the northern part of the country. More showers on Tuesday. Again, wintry in the northern half of the country. A drier, quieter, rather chillier day for Wednesday. Could be frost early and late. And then more rain advancing in from off the Atlantic through Thursday. And we end the week on a very mild but also quite damp note, particularly so in the north. Maybe a little bit drier down in the south. So, in summary, when it really is Storm Dennis, that's the story through, uh, through the early part of the week. So, Storm Dennis will bring... Uh, severe gale force winds uh, and heavy torrential rain. There's going to be a risk of disruption uh, with this storm. So, yes, we could see more flooding and we could see more problems in terms of wind damage as well. Check out all the warnings at UK Met. Once Dennis has gone through by the side of next week, we're into a cooler, colder, showering type uh, into this would be early part of the week and then probably back to fairly mild conditions in the second part of the week. Wednesday looks like it will be the driest and most settled day of the week but otherwise another quite changeable week coming up. Right, that's it weekend forecast. We'll be back later on with your uh, week to 10 day video update with all the regular features. Come back for that then. That's all for now though and thanks for watching.